Hello. What is currying? Currying is when a function doesn't take all of its arguments up front. Instead, it wants you to give it the first argument and then the function returns another function, which you are supposed to call with the second argument, which in turn will return a new function, which you are supposed to call with the third argument, and so on until all the arguments have been provided and then the uh, function at the end of the chain will be the one that returns the value that you actually want. Does it sound confusing? Good! The feeling of confusion is your friend, it means you're learning. Before we get to it, I'm going to incorporate some viewer feedback into the show. This one is for you, Joshua. Foreground and everything. Have a look at this beautiful function. This function is not curried, but we're gonna curry it up in just a minute. It's a very simple function. It takes a name, a size, an element, all strings, and returns another string. Let me call it. And run it. Fluffykins is a tiny dragon that breathes lightning! Let's clear all that. Poof! Here is the same function in the current version. Dragon is a function that takes a name. It will, in turn, return another function, which takes size. Which in turn will return another function, which takes an element. Which in turn will return the final string. I'm gonna call it and log the output. Now remember, dragon will take a name, floppykins, and it will return another function which takes a size, tiny, which in turn returns a third function which takes an element, lightning. Let's run that. Again, Fluffykins is a tiny dragon that breathes lightning. So you see that it's a chain of functions, and if I just remove this last lightning call here and just ran the code, it would just show that, oh, it's a function. The idea with currying is that your function can pass through the application and gradually receive the arguments that it needs. The function goes through your app, you sprinkle it with some arguments here, you spice it up with an argument here, and here you add the final one and you get your output. So for instance you might have broken out dragon here into Fluffykin's dragon. And then refer to it here and you would get the same output. Or maybe into three parts. Tiny dragon. And we run it again. And we get the same result. Now, our dragon function here is written from the start to be curryable. But Every functional library worth its salt has a way of making non-curryable functions curryable. Poof! Now, Dragon is back in its standard form, the one we saw from the beginning. There is no currying here, it's just the normal arguments. As an example, I'm gonna use lodash. We just go npm install lodash. Install. Now we can use it, import from lodash. There we go. And then we just do curry, drag up. We just overwrite the existing one. Bam. And now, Fluffykins is a tiny dragon that breathes lightning. You don't have to use Lodash specifically for this. All libraries with any kind of functional nature has a curry function. That's what currying is and how it works. But why is it useful? Post-production Leviosa. 
So what you see here has no currying at all, it's just normal code. We're gonna improve it a bit with currying. Let's walk through it. We have a dragons array. Uh, we have a couple of lightning dragons here, Numi and Fluffykins. But we also have a fire dragon and we also have a time warp dragon. That's serious business. We are gonna get to line 8 and 9, but let's first look at line 11 and 12 where we filter out the uh, dragon, the lightning dragons from the dragons array. So we just call filter on dragons. You all recognize this from the previous episodes. Filter takes a uh, callback, which will get every item. And that item will be checked against this has element function. If so, it, it has element lightning and we pass in the object and we get a true or false and this will then be passed to lightning dragons just let me run that and you'll see that it's fluffykins and new me that is filtered out if you look at has element it's a function that takes an element this is this string here goes here and the filtered object or the iterated the object that filter iterates goes here and just compares that against the element property of the the object let's try to improve this with currying let's import lodash and curry has element And then, we'll just remove this wrapping function. And just do that. Wow. So now has element is curryable. That means when we call has element with lightning, that means that it will return a new function, which in turn expects to be passed the uh, the object to check if it has element lightning which allows us to pass it as the uh, callback function to filter directly which is pretty sleek conclusion a curryable function is simply a function that takes every argument by itself and then just returns a new function that expects the next dependency to the function until all dependencies have been fulfilled and the final value is returned. So we call curryable functions like this. We call them with the first argument, with the name, which in turn will return a new function, which we call with the size, which in turn will return a new function, which we call with the element, which will return the final value, which we output here, and it's Carl is a large dragon that breathes ice. And that is Curry. People, as usual, I would love to hear from you, either on Twitter, at mpjme, or in a comment down below, either just write something nice or funny, tell me what you think could be made better, or tell me what you would like to see me make a video about. Speaking of which, make sure that you don't miss the next episode. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitter. Until next Monday, stay curious.